My name is Walter Auer. I'm a TAFE teacher, so I was sent in by TAFE to work with the Kui Elders Group. We specialize and focus mainly on ceramic. In the beginning, it took us some time to understand each other, what we can do, and I quite soon realized it's not only the individual in the group, but it's also the group as a collective. They generate energy and creativity just by being together, so it's amazing. And I've been a part of the Koori Elders for probably the last eight years, something like that, and they're now my family. They're a really deadly, mad bunch of women, and I'm proud to be a part of them. We all like one big mob, and all sisters, you know, all sisters under the sun. I used to belong to other ladies' groups before I came here. I didn't fit in, but as soon as we come here, it's like, you know, when you get a jigsaw puzzle and you put a little piece in it, I fit it, and, and I love it. I try to get the sense what they would like to do, what they would like to explore. And in the end, what we are trying to do, an exploration and a return to the roots and to the land. Uh, working with clay is uh, really spiritual for us because it clicks us to Mother Earth, which is part of our culture. With the culture, when I was young, wasn't allowed to talk about it. Our language, our parents couldn't talk about the language in front of us because we lost our culture. And I'm a woman of 70 and I still don't know my culture. And that, that is a shame that I live in this beautiful country and we're nothing. It's part of um, the work that we do here, apart from writing down our um, painting and writing down on clay our uh, belonging where we're from, our culture, uh, our dreaming. And that's been handed down generation to generation. And when we pass it on through the clay, by writing it symbols and stuff, pass it on to generations from there. It's important to have Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artwork displayed and shared with the community because it is the culture of the land. Australia's culture is Aboriginal, always has been, always will be. Aboriginal culture and art today has succeeded itself beyond expectations.